these unique items to your collection. Watch this video to know how to make them. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make flower paper mache paste. We'll need a big bowl, a cup of flour, a cup of hot water, salt, a sifter, and spoons. Sift the flour. Gradually pour water, stirring the flour. Until there are no lumps. Add a half a teaspoon of salt. Mix again. Add two more cups of hot water. Stir well. Pour the mixture into the pot and put it on the stove at medium heat, stirring constantly. To get a proper consistency, boil the mixture for 10 minutes. Done! In this project, we'll show how to make a paper mache clay and mold a lovely teddy bear. We'll need a bowl of hot water, half cup of flour, salt, one teaspoon clay powder, Cosmetic clay will do, one teaspoon dish detergent, and paper napkins. Prepare the hot water. Tear the napkins into small pieces and put them in the water. Mix and leave for several minutes. Now, take a blender and start blending the napkins to soak them fast. It will greatly save you time. You've got a mixture of lumpy batter consistency. Add two to three teaspoons of salt as it is the simplest available antiseptic to protect your craft from mold and insects. Filter through a cloth. Wring it out. Now you've got the paper pulp. Add two to three tablespoons of paper mache paste. You can find a step-by-step -step instruction of how to make this paste on our channel. Add the clay powder to make your paper mache solid. Mix well. Pour the dish detergent. Add the prepared paper. Stir well. If the pulp is not thick enough, add more paper. Done! The clay is soft and pliable and doesn't stick to your hands due to the dish detergent. We've made the paper mache clay. Now we are going to show you how to use it. Let's mold a lovely teddy bear. Take some clay and roll a small ball to make the head. Now mold the body of an oblong shape. Roll between your hands and press over at the bottom to place the hind paws. Smooth with your fingers. Form the paws. Roll a piece of clay. Split it in half to roll two identical front paws. Make the hind paws in the same way, but of a different shape. Form bigger rolls and press over at one end to form the foot, leaving the other end of a bulb shape. Smooth with fingers. Mold an ear of a round shape. Attach to the head. Make another ear. Attach it near the first one. Fold the ears to hold well and look natural. Smooth the attachment place at the back. Use your thumbs to press over the head under the ears to form the eye areas. Make the snout. Roll a small ball. Attach it to the center, lower than the eyes. Press a little to shape well and smooth.
Divide this now into two parts from the underside. Use your nails or a spatula or a craft knife. Roll the mouth to attach to the snout's underside. Stick the nose on top. Smooth carefully. Define the eye areas by pressing over again. Join the head and the body. Smooth carefully. Attach the paws. We are making a sitting teddy bear, so put the figure onto the bottom and attach the hind paws to the sides. Press over and smooth. Attach the front paws in the same way. Place them along the body. Keep in mind to make the tail. Form a small heart to put in the bear's paws. Done! Now we'll have to wait until the paper mache dries. It will take about two to three days. The teddy is dry, let's paint it. Apply a ground coat first. Use water-based paint and a brush. Paint the heart individually to attach it at the end of the job. Cover the entire figure. Don't leave gaps. Decorate the bear with light glitter when dry. Use white glue and a brush. As the glue dries fast, apply the glitter to small areas. Cover the snout with the glue. Dip your finger into the glitter and attach it to the glued area. Use a brush for the areas which are hard to reach. Dip the brush and shake the glitter off to the bear. Cover the heart with red glitter. Put the heart back into the bear's paws. Define the eyes with black paint using a thin brush. Paint the nose. Add the reflected light with white paint. You can craft such a lovely handmade teddy bear from the clay we showed you how to make today. Our tutorial is about how to make a 3D paper mache framed grape bunch for a wall design. We'll need a glass or plastic cover removed from an ordinary photo frame oil paint, and solvent. You may also use acrylic paint or gouache, soft synthetic brushes, and paper mache pulp. You can find a video about how to make it on our channel. Knead the pulp and apply a thin layer to the glass. Shape the corners and smooth the surface. Make small paper mache balls. Choose a portrait size for the composition. Start placing the balls to shape a grape bunch. Press tightly since the paper mache decreases in size as soon as it gets dry. Think about the composition outline to fill it in with these grapes. Leave space for the grape leaves in the diagonal corners. Add a big leaf at the bottom and a small one in the top part. Smooth in shape. Make a pedicel. Attach it this way. Form petioles and tendrils.
Define the leaves using a craft knife. And other details. Done! The paper mache will dry in two days. You will easily remove it from the glass when it dries. Begin painting. Take solvent and make proper colors. Mix cerise and dark olive to get dark brown for the background. Cover the paint. Now, take white. Add it by touching the surface in this way. We've got a beautiful effect. Now, mix blue and cerise to get purple. Paint the grapes. Color the leaves. Mix light green, yellow, and dark olive. To get a natural green shade, paint the inner part with dark olive. Add some yellow. Done! Put the composition into the frame. This 3D paper mache grape bunch wall decor will add glamour to your interior or become a lovely handmade gift. In our today's project, we'll make giant eggshell Easter centerpieces. We'll need plaster of Paris, a bowl for mixing, water, gauze bandage roll, round balloons, and scissors. Inflate the balloons. Cut the bandages into small pieces. The plaster dries fast. That's why we mix it with the water in small portions. Stir well. You should get a milkshake consistency. Put some bandage pieces into the mixture to soak well. Follow the paper mache method. Place the dry bandage on the balloon and cover it with the plaster mixture. Use a hard bristle brush to make it easy. Attach a soaked bandage on top. Cover about two-thirds of the balloon surface to imitate a very big cracked egg. It takes several hours for the plaster to dry. We can continue. And now, the most exciting moment! Boom! Cool! We've got an empty eggshell-shaped bowl. Let's color it inside with acrylic paint. Add a bit of gold to make candlelight glitter on the walls. Put candles inside and use these gorgeous giant eggshells as spring decorations and Easter centerpieces. In our tutorial, we'll make a cool Spider-Man logo paper mache pinata. 
inflate a round balloon. Smear a fatty cream over the surface. To make the job easier, place the balloon in the bowl to fit the size. Take a bowl of water. Tear the paper into strips. Soak the paper strips. Make the first coat attaching the strips one by one overlapped. We need to mix white glue with water for further coats. Take a soft synthetic brush. Cover three layers more to make the pinata keep its shape. It'll take about 15 to 20 hours to dry well. Cut off the end of the balloon. Pull it out. You can fill the pinata with sweets and candies through the hole and cover it afterwards. We need water-based paint for our ground cover. Coat the surface with the ground paint. Wait for 30 to 40 minutes until it's dry. Choose a fast dry spray paint and air the room well. Cover one half of the pinata with a red color and the other half with blue. Make a blurred color border. Tie a string along the border. Draw a line with a black marker using the string as a guide. Shift the string two and a half inches off. Draw another line. The line pattern resembles a peeled orange. Define the lines, making them thicker. To create a web pattern, draw curved cross lines. Make two to two and a half inch intervals between the lines in the central part. Decrease the intervals as you get nearer to the poles. Make these lines thicker as well. Add some glitter using a golden paint and a thin brush. Paint all the lines. You can use a golden marker instead. Cut out a spider image. You can find it in the description of this tutorial. Attach the image onto the color border. The cool Spider-Man pinata will become a perfect decoration for a superhero themed party. Leave your comments. If you liked the video, subscribe to our channel and find lots of interesting themed party decoration ideas.